Holy cow, watch Cavuto gloss over 40 years worth of corruption just so he can have this clown criticize Obama as a Marxist. Senator Ted Stevens, a jury finding him guilty on all counts of taking everything from home renovations to other gifts, uh, even those from an oil contractor to abuse his position. Keep in mind, Senator Ted Stevens of Alaska is in the fight of his life. The polls were dead even before this. They are going to be, no doubt, problematic after this. So for a crucial Republican seat that was already in some dispute, now growing indications and a problem for the markets as well, that his Senate ship entirely could be in dispute. Now to another development that is also weighing on these markets and also weighing on this sell-off. You work hard for your money. Today, banks lining up like never before in American history to get your money. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is a busy your world. Now to that dash for cash, your cash, and now their cash, with barely a string attached to that cash. But like I said, it is a lot of cash. In what amounts to the biggest blue plate special known to man, virtually every major bank in this country lining up for the handout to end all handouts. Eight billion bucks for PNC Banking, three and a half billion for SunTrust. Two and a half billion for Key Corp. And these are just the bit players. The big ones, the nine top U.S. banks, those guys are getting 125 billion smackers and maybe more. And all to get them to lend more. But what's to stop them from continuing to hoard that cash? In a word, nothing. And that is among some of the issues that had the markets rattled today. And it's a big worry about a big something, which is why we're all over it. And we are all over this with Newt Gingrich on Barack Obama redistributing more of this. And Dick Morris, who says John McCain can still win this. First, Libertarian vice presidential candidate Wayne Allen Root. He's been dead set against this from the beginning. Your worst fears, I guess, realize, Wayne, because these banks are taking the money. No commitment to lend that money. What happens? Yeah, I, I called it, Neil. I've been on your show, what, three times in the last three weeks, uh, really with doom and gloom, and I hate to be a doom and gloomer. That's not my personality. I'm an upbeat, optimistic guy, but I was on when the stock market had closed up about, what, seven, 800 points, one of the biggest up days in the history of Wall Street. Every guest before me had been flying on about how wonderful things were. We turned it all around, and the bailout worked. And what did I say to you? I said, I don't want to be doom and gloom, but, uh, you know, this is not the way things are going to be in the future. It's one good up day, and, and we're destined for some real bad down days, and that's exactly what I see. There's no preconditions on this. The banks don't have to loan it out. Basically, basically what we've done is it's the greatest redistribution without Barack Obama involved, with George Bush involved, and John McCain voting yes, the greatest distribution or redistribution well, let me from ask American you that, because taxpayers I, 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 to I think, banks. I think we had a lot twin ills on the market today. If we could take a look at the big board guys and show this better than 209 point fall off today. The first was growing doubt about whether that money will ever be lended out, even though it's being parceled out very generously. And then this uh, late day Ted Stevens news that the Alaska uh, right. senator was likely going to be uh, facing a guilty charge on all counts. And that escalated as that rumor got out. In other words, that Republicans, the ink is, is stained here that they're going to have big problems a week from tomorrow. How much of a factor do you think these are on the markets right now? Oh, huge factor, Neil, huge. I mean, look, the reason I left the Republican Party two years ago was that the Republican Party left me. It became the party of greed. They sold out from the taxpayers to the lobbyists and the lawyers and big corporations, big oil, big pharmaceuticals, big farms, defense contractors. And Stevens of Alaska is just one single great example of what's happened. It's not the people that matter anymore to either the GOP or the Democrats. Look at Barack Obama. Let's not give him a pass. His coffee Years were filled by Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and then the Libertarian Party, me and Bob Barr. How much contributions do we get from the big uh, Wall Street corporations or the banks? We don't. Defense contractors don't give us any contributions. We're not owed or owned by anyone, and therefore we can look out for the taxpayers. Well, I think you, you, you give us four years. You might have a, a good pitch there, but it might be falling too little too late. It's always been a very good pitch, but you know how that goes, Wayne. But well, listen, I'm, is, not, I, I'm not I know claiming what you're saying. I know but I, let me ask you this. If the markets sure. continue to swoon on uh, concerns about the financial system, as well as concerns about the upcoming election and that we're going to go entirely the other way, whether that you deem that to be a good or a bad thing, what, what does this say about what we can have to look forward to? 
Well, you know, when you say go the other way, I think it's from capitalism to socialism and Marxism. We've now got socialism under Republican George Bush with a bailout bill that nationalizes our banks and Wall Street. And now we'll go all the way to Marxism with our good friend Barack Obama. And I think the best thing that could happen to an alcoholic is that you got to hit rock bottom before you can ever turn it around. And the best thing that could ever happen to this country may very well, I'm sad to say, be the Marxism of Barack Obama, four years of redistribution of our wealth, killing the job creators, destroying the successful people, punishing success, Neil. And I think four years from now, America will be in a great mood for a real political revolution, a new Barry Goldwater. And I hope that's me and the Libertarian Party.